we're all about to go to bed, hence the cut up shirt. But before we do that, we have to lock the baby goats up tonight away from their mamas because tomorrow is our first day of milking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you on the stump? <laughs> Who is this? Winnie? Did you come on the stump all by yourself? How did you get out, little one? Come here. Oh my goodness gracious. Yep guys, that was Winnie on Willow's stump. She had gotten out so she could be on the stump. We gotta figure out how they're getting out. Okay, good night. <laughs> the twins are right there. The triplets were all together, except Winnie, I think, just ran over here. And then there's Tatum. All right. I gave them some mushed up kind of grain and sunflower seeds, and then they have access to the water. I think they'll be good. <laughs> all right, all the mamas and babies are locked up, and we gotta get up early tomorrow to milk so that they're not separated for very long. We just came out here this morning and it's pretty quiet. No, I can hear some baby goats. So we've got to milk the mamas super fast so that the baby goats can have their milk for the morning. We're only gonna milk them about halfway out. So now we've split the milking. So all of us took a turn. Ethan milked Doris, Lydia milked Tilly, and I milked Willow. And, I and Kevin milked felt. nobody. <laughs> I moral support. Now you don't have Luna in milk, you can't milk a goat anymore. Oh man, that's true. You guys, are you guys hungry? Oh no. Find your mama. You gotta find which mama no. is yours. No, no, that's not your mama. They're all following Tilly. It's a little Jordan, bit. Come out here. You got some babies. She's got two of hers right here. That's good. Yep, those are both yours. She's got Winnie and Winston. No, they got all oh, three. Oh, there you go. You guys found your mama. She has all three of her own. Oh, she has all three? I didn't even see Wally over there. Yeah. They're all fighting over a teat. Good job, Willow. Here on the You're a good mama. Oh, they're pushing on you hard. Tilly's gonna feed over here on the mountain. <laughs> you get both teats, Tatum. And they all just decide they're done. And they're all like, yeah, that's enough. They'll eat throughout the day, so they'll get lots. Doris, have you been doing okay? And Doris has been doing really well. She hasn't been crying for Delilah or anything. It's kind of nice that Delilah passed away in Doris's pen because then Doris knows that she's dead. So it's important that she knows that and she just moves on. She's just taking care of Duke and Delilah now. Luna doesn't have any babies right now, but she's still just living her best life here. She gets to eat all the food she wants. Yep. Best life, Luna. It looks like Stella found a new bed just for her. Is this, is this comfortable? <laughs> yeah? Seems pretty hard, but I guess whatever you like. Oh, Stella's not sharing the bin with Fernie here. Do you have to lay next to it instead? Well, they look like they're he healing perfectly. Yeah, they're doing good. How's Duke's head? Pretty good. It looks horrible, but yeah. <laughs> it's all scabbed up now. Well, the other day we had to dehorn all the baby goats because we don't want them to grow up and have these dangerous, huge horns that they could headbutt us with or anything like that. They kind of, they're a little loud during the process, but afterwards they go right back to their moms and drink, so. They're doing okay now. 
His leg's still working fine, right, Ethan? Yeah. <laughs> Tested. Okay, yeah, it's still good. <laughs> Why are goats so fun to cuddle and play with? They're just they just kind of let you do whatever with them. You like play with their legs <laughs> and like. Open up my heart and you'll find love. Remember when I planted all of that beet tape? The beets on the beet tape? This is what we grew, guys. So today, since my family hates beets, I'm gonna have to make a beet soup for dinner. No, I'm not. I'm actually going to pickle them because I love pickled beets, even though the sky doesn't like them. I thought nobody bother me, but I was wrong. Now, normally we would eat these beet greens, but we've been eating on them all winter, and if I eat one more beet green, I'm gonna die. So we're gonna feed them to the pigs today. Here they come, they already see us carrying it. Big, big, big. Oh. Hi, Stella. She likes it. Yeah, she can eat it off of her back. <laughs> yum, yum. Those are good. Somebody needs to eat that one off of her back. <laughs> there you go. But soon her memory, it faded away. And I'd love to see that girl again someday, but she's gone. I got no money, I got no job. I think of the future and my head it thrives. So I stole a car, I was moving fast. Gotta find the one that I love best. Okay, Ethan, you're the only one in the house that is brave enough to try this. Okay. I know you guys don't like beets, oh. but I just <laughs> pickled some and I want you to try pickled okay. beets and tell me what you think. Okay. Go. Mm. Not horrible. <laughs> it doesn't really taste like much. I like them. They're kind of like, they taste like a root, like really mm -hmm. strong root. And then they've got like that pickled flavor. Mm -hmm. Yum. Yeah. So people have been asking a lot about this quarantine beard you have going on. How long are you gonna go on with that, huh? Uh, as long as I feel like it too much. <laughs> until I have a reason to shave, I don't care enough. It's kind of cool because it's like an old fashioned one. Because it's mm. like an Abraham Lincoln one because it goes all the way it's across. It's really bad. <laughs> it but I'm too lazy to shave it, so. That's okay. It looks good. Mm -hmm. All right, just keep trying to spread it out. Like it a like an a nest. Nest. Is that good? Do you think we need some of the no, uh, other that's stuff a at the lot. bottom? Well yeah, that's probably a lot. That'll be good. I guess don't really make a nest, just spread it out so it hits all the corners and then they'll kind of make a nest. These chickens have been kicking out all of the pine shavings that we put in the nesting boxes. So I looked it up and I bought online these little like woven together nestuses. bits of bits of straw nestuses. That's what Lydia used to call nests when she was little nestuses. So hopefully this will keep the chickens from kicking it out. Ethan's our aunt, our bird expert. Will it work? Uh yeah, I think they'll they'll like it because it doesn't really come apart very easily. I agree. I think it will work. Come over here, chicken. Come on. She's like, leave me alone. We've had a couple of thin eggs as well, and so I brought in some oyster shells and some phosphate to hopefully help their eggs strengthen. I got this little handy feeder here. I don't think they're gonna eat very much of it, but hopefully they'll eat enough to make their shells strong. 
Right, chicken? Okay, the, the one bad thing about these chickens is that they're loud. They're so loud. This one's really weird. <laughs> We don't He's talk about bit, her. A little bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other thing that we did in here is we cut some branches that were hanging off the top here and then put them horizontal in front of it. And they yeah. seem to like that better. That's a lot easier. Don't know if they've grown on our swing though. Uh, I don't so think so. <laughs> a little scary. It's just there for looks. I mean, the tree is a cool idea. I found the idea on Pinterest, but it's not really useful because they can't obviously roost on them if they're vertical branches. Guys, just when we left, a chicken went inside. Yay! She's way back there. You can't even see her. There she is. <laughs> she likes it. It's perfect and you guys can't kick it out. Seven, eight, Nine, ten. <laughs> All right, we're good. You've got enough glasses to last you a lifetime, yes. a month. These are a big pack of like, for $10, so like a dollar a piece, they're also safety glasses. That way. You'll at least be safe. Your eyes won't Safe when I'm working out. with tools and their sunglasses since they get left everywhere and lo lost my car, wherever I'm working, they're all over the house. I just find them all the time. So now that you've got so many, does that mean you can throw away the broken one? Oh yeah, I guess we can throw away that one. I guess, although it still works really good. <laughs> I don't know. You'll think about it. You'll yeah. sleep on it. All right. <laughs> Okay, time for irrigation. Now the water's getting high enough. It's flowing out into the pasture. We water our pasture every two weeks with flood irrigation here in Arizona. So it's an interesting thing that waters our trees really, really deep, floods our whole pasture, and works really well. The animals love the irrigation. Except the goats. The goats are going to start moving away from that water creeping in. <laughs> That's scary hot lava. <laughs> Look at this one right here trying to play on Doris. She wants to bug her mom to death. <laughs> Doris is such a good mom. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> is she bugging ya? <laughs> what are you doing? Daisy, I swear. You are a biter. That Stop biting. That's no, 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 no. Oh, so now you're gonna come bite me instead. Nope, no, don't bite. It seems kind of mean, but we have to train the baby goats not to be excessive nibblers because when they're like that, they make horrible goats when they're older. They're really hard to be around and pet, and then they're a lot bigger, so they can just drive you nuts. Tilly was not taught that it was not okay to bite, and she wouldn't eat our hair, it drove us nuts. So it took a long time, but we finally pretty much trained her to stop biting. Every once in a while, she'll start try to nibble on us, but it took a long time of pinching that nose till she finally learned. All right, we've got Tatum on this side, and Winnie on that side. Well. Never mind. <laughs> Are you gonna go down the slide? Do it, do it. Oh, Doris is such a good mom, feeding her babies. Oh, there goes Tatum, she just slid down it. <clears throat> Why do they always go on that side, like when I wanna film? I always forget to wear pants out here. No, oh, like, that was a good little hop. She's the most curious goat. She's so funny, cause she, she gives like, she does that little head turn that like a dog does, you know, where they kind of turn their head when they're yeah. curious just to be cute. Yeah, Tatum does that, it's cute. I don't know if I can catch it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but she sure is Hi. always wanting to play. Willow's two boys are on the other side there. We can't get them to come around. Is she not gonna bite now? Has she learned? We'll give you scratches if you don't bite, okay? Don't bite, you get the scratches. <laughs> now you've learned to not bite me? Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
If you want to watch the video where Willow was obsessed with her stump as a baby, click right here.